So it's interesting here. I've treated a nuclear reaction like it was chemistry. Looked at its binding energy, just like its heat of formation. Many people, when they do this, do it a different way. They use Einstein's formula. E equals mc squared. That's energy equals the mass times the speed of light squared. And the mass represents the change in mass from one side to another. So if I weigh my deuterium and tritium, and then I weigh the helium and the extra neutron, and by the way, the neutron is the zero level of that scale. It's not bound to anything. I weigh the initial products, I weigh the final products, the final products weigh less. The difference in mass, a change in mass. Multiply that change in mass by the speed of light squared, you get the 17.6 mega electron volts. The interesting thing is, if I went back to the methanol, and I took the methanol molecule, and I weighed it, and I took the oxygen, and I weighed it, and then in the end, I take the carbon dioxide, and I take the water molecules, and I weigh them. They weigh less. E equals mc squared works for chemistry. Now, that mass difference is really small. Very, very difficult to ever measure. But E equals mc squared works. The carbon dioxide and water weigh very, very, very slightly less than the methanol and oxygen that you used. It's just another way of thinking about the reactions.